Today I want to create an Excel summary trial balance using the Excel refreshable reports. I'm using GP2010 R2 today. So I'm in the financial series under Excel reports and what I'm going to do is come down and choose the two, which is my database, account transactions. So I'm going to double click on that and it's going to open my Excel. Now note I'm using Excel 2010 and so this is, uh, um, offers me a little bit uh, more capabilities. Now, one of the things I am choosing this particular one for is because it has all kinds of data in here, which I like. So I'm going to scroll back. And it gives me my credits and my debits. Now, one of the things I want to do is create a net account so that I could choose to look at net information. So I'm going to choose net, and I will put in the calculation debit minus credit. And so now this number will roll, will roll down. And because I'm in a table, every time I refresh it will automatically add as well. So let's click on a new worksheet and we're going to add a pivot table. And this is how we're going to create our Excel Trump summary trial balance. And I want to choose every column in the system that pulls up. So I have more capabilities when I'm doing pivot tables. So I'm going to just select all the columns. And there are a lot. They are typically stored in alphabetical order um, with the more commonly used ones at the beginning. So let's say OK. And it takes me back to my pivot table work area. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is drag my um, account number down into my row label. So I have that listed there. And actually, you know what? Let's do one thing because I want the account number and the account description. Let's go back and add right here next to my net um, a new field called account and let's concatenate those two numbers together so we're going to go to formulas text and concatenate concatenate just simply adds them together because they're text fields together so I have the account number I'll put a space dash space and then I'll put the account number and you can see what it looks like here so we'll add that in go back to our sheet click data refresh all and now we have this new field here so I'm going to get rid of this account and add my um, new account here so I can see both the account number and the description and I'm going to put my net in the value so I can see them and they'll default in as a general field and it'll count them so we want to change both of that so we'll click on uh, the down arrow on the values on my pivot table field list and choose value field settings change that to sum and let's change the number format and again I encourage everyone to change the number format so that because if it's a long number it'll end up with a scientific calculation instead of a number okay great now let's also go through and let's say we want to have it month to month side by side so we're going to drag period ID down into the column and then we will drag our open year let's find open year into the report filter and we can then choose which open year we want to look at. And lo and behold, we have our trial balance. That was awfully simple to do. If we want to go through and just do a quarter at a time, for example, and period zero note will be our, our beginning balances, we'll bring that in, and then we have the capability of adding a pivot chart to that as well. drag it there we go so we now have a pivot chart as well so and we could change the chart format by right mouse clicking and choosing change um, chart type we'll make it a pie chart instead cool huh it's a pretty powerful way to work if you know how to use it hope this helps thanks